How's it going guys? My name is Tavares and today we are ripping the V10 heart out of my Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. Don't worry, we're probably going to put it back. Probably. So we start today's episode off in the engine bay of my cheap Lamborghini. Now if you're new to my channel, thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe if you like what you see. Now, this is my 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo. It had twin turbos. They sat right around where I'm sitting. It has a built engine made to take a lot of boost. And it also has a six-speed manual transmission, also not in the vicinity where it should be. But I'm actually gonna take out this engine today because when I did my previous video, I talked about how this car had a checkered past, a very sordid history. So what happened afterwards was actually nothing short of a miracle. So I was told by somebody that this car blew up on the dyno. That is not correct. So I found out that the story of the previous owner, uh, well, the previous registered owner of this car, I did get this car from a dismantler's yard, uh, his story of what happened to this car was actually correct. There was a fire at a gas station. This car had gas pumped into it and apparently there was a faulty uh, gas pump that just spilled gas everywhere. And it got on the car, it got under the car. That explains the damage on that side of the car and this side of the car. And uh, gas goes up pretty quickly, as you can imagine. So uh, he sent me a picture right after the fire extinguishers had put it out. Now, I'm not telling you who this was, but it was somebody very, very close to this build. What he told me though was a little bit disconcerting because he said that I should check the gas tanks. Apparently after the fire, the insurance wanted to take this car apart and make sure that it wasn't foul play, uh, there wasn't any uh, malicious doings on the part of the shop, and uh, they couldn't find anything, this car was totaled out. But when they were taking it apart, apparently the people didn't know what they were doing. It was taken apart by people who weren't exactly mechanics by this guy's estimation. And he said that I should take off the tops of the gas tanks uh, here because there are two gas tanks, one on either side of the car and there's a tube connecting them both. Now, the only way you can check the top of the gas tanks is by taking out this massive V10 engine. So that's gonna be today's sort of project. Hopefully I can get it done uh, in a reasonable time frame. The thing is, it's, I don't think it's gonna be that hard because there's only two bolts holding the engine on. There's uh, some lines for power steering and coolant, all that stuff. But other than that, I think this should be a pretty easy install. Again, I'm probably jinxing myself, but this is gonna be fun, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy, and uh, it's de definitely necessary because I don't want this car to burst into flames for the second time. So the first thing we actually have to do is we have to clean this place up. I know I told you guys that I'd be doing that in a uh, previous episode, but I'm lazy. So uh, I didn't actually get that done. But in order to get this out, we have to make sure everything around it is not gonna foul on uh, any of the, the body work here. So we have to make sure that everything is as clean as possible. We clean this area to make sure that when we take it out, we're not bumping into anything, that uh, we're not slipping on anything because there are some fluids underneath the car. Uh, just give me like, call it 30 seconds and then we should be good to go. So what I'm gonna do to take this engine out is uh, actually quite simple. Lamborghini has graciously provided these engine straps. There's two on either side. So all I have to do is put a load leveler with two chains on either side. And this should actually pluck out pretty simply. I don't have to thread in any bolts. I mean, I don't wanna jinx myself, but this is very, very DIY friendly.
All right, take a look at that. Now, the engine is not exactly out of the car. Uh, the frame is a little bit too narrow, and uh, I would have to take off those exhaust manifolds because they are hitting uh, the right sides of the frame, but all my work is up here, and you can get a really good view of uh, the fuel tanks, which is right here. One half is here, and the other half is right there. They're connected on the top by this fuel line that connects both of them, and on the bottom, you can't see it, but uh, there's an, another fuel line right there, and uh, that basically makes them, uh, gives them a little equilibrium. So what I have to do now, and what I'm gonna try to do, hopefully, is I have to take off those heat shields, and then there are two straps each on these uh, gas tanks. So I'm gonna lower them, I'm gonna try not to uh, spill any fuel, because this, this is E85, I believe. It's really, really stinky in here. And uh, I'm gonna just check what the insurance company did to the top hats of these, uh, these tanks. Hopefully it's not anything bad. Hopefully it's something that I can fix right now. Maybe it's just misaligned or maybe it's fine. And uh, the person that gave me this tint, uh, he was just wrong. <laughs> Hopefully that's the case. But uh, with my luck, who knows? But here is a better view of the Lamborghini V10 in the front. So take a look at this. This is a uh, coolant tube and this would probably be hard to change if gaskets went right here. Good thing that these are pretty solid, pretty reliable engines. Now uh, you see that uh, there's a lot of coolant tubes and those would be a little hard to change, but there's a AC compressor down here, which would almost be impossible to change. Um, you, you could do it, but it'd be really finicky. And uh, there's an alternator over there and that would probably be hard to change as well. But everything else is very, very easy to get to. I actually got to all these uh, without too much issue and this is without me using my lift. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good thing, even if you can do it on your garage floor. These cars are really actually quite easy to work on, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get down there and hopefully I can take off one of these gas tanks and at least take a look at what's going on. All right, I am joining you from where the engine lives in a Lamborghini, and I did some work off camera. Now, you probably can't see because it's a little dark, so show me the light. So this is one half of the gas tank, and you can see this is the top of the fuel tank right here. Now, the thing that uh, is a little bit concerning is the fact that this fitting is just loose. So I turn this around, that fitting is loose. Now this is a plastic housing, so maybe that's not such a bad, you know, such a such a bad thing to happen. But I want to tighten that up in any case. But the guy that uh, told me I should check this also said that this might be cracked. Actually, it's not. It's looking in fine condition. It doesn't look like there's anything uh, actually going on here. There's uh, there's no leakage, and uh, that looks fine. And we go to the other side. We can see an even better picture, this looks all pretty solid. I mean, this is, the fitting is doing what it's supposed to do. There's no leaks, no cracks. It, uh, it looks actually pretty fine. So, uh, good news and bad news, we didn't actually need to do all of this, but the good news is that I know that my fuel system is good and that the fuel lines are good from the fuel tank. Uh, so I can rest assured that uh, this is not where any leaks come from. Now I will be reusing, well I will be redoing all these lines. So now that we know that I don't have to do anything on the fuel tank other than just uh, repair those fittings, that just means that I have to put everything back, including the engine and including that clutch over there and that gearbox. So that means we are officially done for today and I can start putting everything back in the next episodes. So we are going to start putting stuff together and start making all these hoses and clamps and uh, fittings and all that stuff, all the good ones, I'm gonna keep it, but I'm tossing all the bad stuff, all the uh, stuff that was damaged by fire, and I'm making this, uh, this turbo setup a full DIY setup. Uh, I'm going to reverse it. I'm gonna do some pretty trick stuff with that exhaust, and it's all gonna be DIY, and you're all gonna see it on my channel. But I'm rambling, I'm very, very dirty, uh, it's dark, and it's time to end the episode. Now, if you'd like to contact me and tell me what I'm doing wrong, or if you saw something that I didn't spot, then uh, you can give me a shout me a holla. Do people say that anymore? Uh, you can do that on Instagram and Twitter. That is at the real Tavarsh, Facebook.com slash AskTavarsh and AskTavarsh at 
Gmail is my email. I think these fumes are getting to me. Uh, if you'd like to tell everybody that you are indeed the warranty, you can see these shirts in the link below and you can buy one for yourself or a significant other. But until next time, uh, this is me telling you that on cars like this that don't have engines in them, well, the engine's right there, you guys need to wrench every day.